गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू यूनिट दैट इज लास्ट यूनिट ऑफ योर बुक इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द मीनिंग एंड फीचर्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस सो वॉट इज इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस रेफर्स टू बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन दैट इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड ट्रेडिंग कैरीड ऑन बियॉन्ड द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ वन ओन नेशन that is such transactions such trading which is carried on crossing the boundaries of one country is known as international business now let's focus upon what are the features of such business such international business takes place beyond the boundaries of one's own country as i told you in the meaning so at least two different countries are involved for carrying out international business participation by people and organization from different countries are involved since this is not a national business so people and uh, government and organizations of more than one country are involved thirdly lesser degree of mobility of factors of production like labor and capital across nations mobility means movement of factors of production land labor capital enterprise these are called the factors of production so these factors of production that is land or labor or money or an enterprise is not required frequently to move from one area to another area in case we are carrying out international business though this mobility was more when we were doing the national business that is trading between different states of one own one's own country nextly lack of homog homogeneity due to difference in languages preferences of customers etc homogeneity means something which is similar something which is same but now when we cross the boundaries of a nation when we carry out such trading beyond one country what will happen the homogeneity will not be there because customers are heterogeneous customers are spread over different parts of the world and uh, accordingly the demands of the product of from one nation to another nation also differs so there is heterogeneity and not the homogeneity of production because the languages are different taste and preferences of customers are different and so on for example sarees are more demanded in india and these may uh, these are less demanded or almost negligibly demanded in other parts of the world so there is no homogeneity there is lack of homogeneity then we switch over to other feature that is varied business systems and practices across countries see business system of your country business system of india is not same as the business system of other nation so business systems and practices they also differ when we cross the boundaries of a nation to carry out uh, trading between the different countries next feature is barriers are in the form of differences in political systems and risks risks are more see uh, when we talk about the risk when we talk about the political systems when we talk about the political parties they are all different in different nations and therefore the rules regulation everything is different when we carry out trading in different parts of the world which is an international business then use of currency of more than one nation obviously when we trade within india we use only the currency of our country that is legal tender money which is rupees or coins and we use paper currency or even we use cards or plastic money so what is this when we talk about the currency and we start trading outside the country that is export import or entry port when we talk about such type of trading between different nations obviously the currencies of different countries are also different uh, and therefore the different countries currencies are required and the payment is done through financial documents or banks so this is uh, this, this is the meaning of international business hope that you have clearly understood it 
in next video we'll talk about the need of international business what is uh, the need why do we need to carry out international business thank you